All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing section 10.2 in Precalc, which is parabolae. Uh, so in Algebra 2, we learned that we can write a parabola in, in two pretty common forms of an equation. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the form we generally want to use when we're trying to solve something with the quadratic formula. Or y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. This second form right here is more useful if you're trying to graph a parabola by hand uh, because you can tell that the vertex is at h comma k and then a tells you sort of how to draw the rest of the points uh, in your parabola. So what we're going to learn in 10.2 is a different way to write and define a parabola. And I know that's a little weird, but we're talking about the same quantity you've already talked about. We're talking about that same u-shaped graph. We're just going to sort of learn uh, why the graph looks how it looks and, and the definition of, of it in terms of the points distance to other things. So on page 708 you'll see that there's a definition for a parabola. The definition of a parabola is that it is the set of all points x comma y in a plane that are equidistant uh, from a fixed line which we call the directrix and a fixed point we call that the focus, not on the line. So uh, knowing that I just said that, knowing that you can look at page 708 if you need to, I want to walk you through kind of what we're talking about here. Uh, and I, I know I'm erasing an awful lot of words, but such is life. Okay, so here's the idea. If you were to draw a fixed line, right? So, so I'm going to just trace on this little line on my whiteboard calendar, right? If I draw a fixed line, and let's say I draw this fixed point, okay? So I'm going to call this, this line is called the directrix. Right? And it goes on forever uh, in both directions. I'm just lazy, so I, I didn't make it go on forever. Okay. Um, and, and this little point is called the focus, right? So this point is called the focus. And I, I drew my focus below the directrix uh, from your perspective, and, and that's fine, but you could also draw it above. So here's the idea. A parabola is the set of all points such that the distance of the point from this dot to this line is the same. So this is the easy spot. This spot right here is the same distance from the dot that it is from the line, right? If I move a little bit further to the right, as I move further to the right, I'm gonna get farther from this dot, but since I have to stay equidistant, right? So, so just to show you again, like these two, this length was the same as this length, right? If I move over here, what's gonna happen is in order to stay equidistant from the line, meaning the perpendicular uh, distance from this line, I'm going to end up curving a little bit, and you'll see that this distance is the same as this distance. And as I move over here, I'm going to end up curving a little bit more, right? You're going to see that this distance is the same as this distance. And as I move over here, this distance is the same as this distance, okay? If I go the other way in the, the same sense, right, I have a dot here because this distance is the same as this distance, uh, and a dot here because this distance is the same as this distance, and a dot here because this distance is the same as this distance. What you're going to notice is if I keep drawing this, and I did a pretty bad job drawing it, but you're going to end up with a parabola. This blue curve that I'm getting is going to be a parabola. Every, and again, totally like rough drawing by hand by me, but every point on this blue curve, if I pick a point, it should be the same distance from this dot that that point is from this line. This measurement should be the same as this measurement. Now, again, I drew it roughly by hand, so it's not exactly the same, but you get the idea. So the definition of a parabola is, is all these points on this blue curve, they are equidistant from the focus and the directrix, okay? So we're going to walk through how we can use that information. And again, I could have had a focus up here. Now, one thing to notice, if you picture, there are kind of four versions of this graph, okay? So there are four options here. So... The directrix I drew you a second ago was a horizontal line, right? So, and that drew a parabola that you're pretty accustomed to seeing, right? So, so if the directrix is a horizontal line, so horizontal directrix, right? If I have a horizontal directrix, then there are two basic options. I could have a directrix with a focus above the directrix, and that's going to make a curve that looks like this, right? Or... I could have a directrix like the example I did for you a second ago where the focus is below it and then I'm going to get a graph that looks like this. And again, these are really bad versions, but you get the idea. If I were instead to have a vertical line as my directrix, right, which we hadn't talked about yet, but you can have parabola that go the other direction. They're just not functions. Well, I could have a vertical directrix and the focus, give myself a little bit of room, I could have a vertical directrix and a focus over here to the right, well, that's going to make the graph bend to the right. So one way to think about this is the graph bends around your focus. And you can think about that 
Um, cause if you're asked to focus your attention on something, you like move towards it, you look at it. So this graph, it's like magnetically pulled towards the focus, right? So if you were to picture this graph as a straight line and then it bends up around the focus and the same thing here, this graph bends away from the directrix and towards the focus. If I had put the directrix over on the right side and the focus on the left, then the graph would bend to the left towards the focus. Okay. So, uh, so those are sort of the four different options of how these graphs can look, right? Um, so let's label a couple pieces of terminology and we don't have to do it on all four of these. I'm going to pick one of them and show you, but let's, let's talk a little bit about some terminology. So, um, I'm going to pick this one just because, uh, it's easier to see, right? So, so this point right here that is equidistant, uh, sort of the point that's the closest to both the focus and the line, the closest point, that point is called the vertex. Okay. That's the vertex, that little blue dot. And it's at H comma K. And we'll talk about that, but those are just those two same placeholders that we've seen before when we did parabolize. So that vertex, and I'll put the little green dot on all of them. That little green dot is the vertex, right? The next piece of information, right, is that we need some way to quantify this measurement between these two, and this is quantified by the number p, okay? So again, the distance between the vertex and the focus, or between the vertex and the directrix, is called p, okay? So, so just to, again, I'm going to inch, we'll inch this way? Yeah, that works. Okay, so, uh, so the vertex... Oh, I did it the wrong way, guys. I'm the worst. Okay, so the vertex, h comma k, is what I put in green on all those graphs, right? Point. Uh, so the the distance. So p is the distance, and actually I'm going to call it directed distance because we'll talk about how it does have a direction in a sec. So the directed distance from the vertex to the focus, um, or vertex to directrix, right? It doesn't. It doesn't really matter because they're the same, right? Equidistant means the same, so or vertex to directrix, okay? And that p is going to matter in a sec. So uh, when we talk about a parabola, we can describe it as opening in whichever du direction it bends. So this would be an opening up parabola. This would be opening down. We sometimes call these smiles and frowns. Uh, the sideways ones that are less common, that are y squareds that you're not as comfortable with, uh, they're going to open right or open left, right? So, uh, so when we talk about a vertical directrix and a horizontal directrix, right? Um, we can kind of figure out, uh, so, so in these two cases, opening up and right, P is going to be positive, okay? So P is going to be a positive value if I'm opening up or right, okay? P is going to be a negative value. That's why I said directed distance. P is going to be a negative value if I'm opening down or left. And that's kind of easy to picture because in our mathematical Cartesian coordinates, up and right are both positives, and down and left are both negatives. So, so again, we'll talk about the formula for this in a minute, but that's the basic gist of how this breaks down. Cool. Uh, so vertical directrix. So another thing I want you to notice is that you actually know enough information to know that, that a graph that looks like this is an x squared. So this is some kind of y equals x squared, OK? Like the x is squared, right? So, so actually, let's put that in a more logical way. If you're talking about the horizontal directrix, you're talking about a linear y and a squared x, right? But if you were talking about a parabola that opens left or right, which are the ones you're less comfortable with, you're actually talking about a linear x and a squared y. So, so just as an example, this side is something like y equals x squared. And as an example, the other side would be something like x equals y squared. And we're going to spend a lot of time talking about those equations, uh, but I want to give you a gist and just an intro into how these look. 